What's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm gonna do a quick video on this little furnace, the fast to buy six kilogram furnace. I used it once already, it worked pretty good. Um, the only thing I tried to take it off, I tried to unscrew this off, and it didn't come off after the first time. And that started spinning. So I just decided to leave it on anyways because I don't want to mess with that coming out. But here's kind of how it looks. Probably like a, f a foot and a half tall maybe. And about a foot wide. And here's all the stuff that comes with it. With this crucible, or not a crucible, but here's the crucible. This, after I used it, it looked this color when it came brand new, but after I used it, that's what it looks like. Comes with the hose. And then it has like a fitting in there. This part is free. This screws it has reverse thread, left handed thread I think. That goes into the propane tank. Two clamps. And then these pliers. They work really well for grabbing the crucible. <clears throat> I already melted quite a bit of aluminum with it. Um, so I melted six, or I got six out of these, out of the aluminum that I was melting. So it did a really good job and it got really hot. Um, pretty sure it would be able to do all the other metals easily. So I'm gonna put it all together and try to show you guys how it looks when it's going. So and make sure this is screwed on really tight on here. That way it can push the little valve in this body. So that when you open this you can hear gas going through or else it won't light. So make sure I was having that problem, I thought it was tight but it wasn't tight enough to open that internal valve and you just hook it up like that this will i mean i didn't show this part but screw this on gently and then screw these on tighten these down gently and then you can use like a piece of paper light the bottom of it and leave it in there and then slowly open the the regulator so i'm going to try to do that now so I'm going to open it slowly, see if you guys can hear. Okay, get the way in. opening the valve just like to make sure you barely open it So probably a better way to light it instead of what you just saw there because that pla that paper will fly in the air and I don't want you to start a fire somewhere else. 
you use matches and once you hear that sound of the gas passing light the match and just drop it right in front of that little hole and it'll light the the flame right away and you won't have a tornado of ashes going in the air but yeah it's on right now you hear it going it's probably been like a minute that it's been on adjusted the the hotter it'll get and that's barely with any turn like like maybe like this so just be careful and you can probably buy like a reg like a better regulator so you could adjust you know in the PSI and everything That's pretty much it. Uh, then you get it hot enough, throw pieces in there, grab the crucible, and uh, these pliers are really strong so you can definitely tilt the crucible. The way I was doing it with this little guy I would set it on the ground. Here, let me turn it off. I would set that little mold on the ground. And then I would rest, I would rest the bottom of the crucible on that end like that. And it would help me to control the pour. Just make sure that when you uh, tilt it, the pour will go into the mold not like way out here because then it won't go in the mold that's a lot easier than having to hold this like this without any support um, but yeah you could just that's pretty much how i got this one to work um pretty happy with it i'm gonna melt a lot more aluminum uh so hope you guys enjoy Peace out, YouTube.